All right, just showing you what I'm up to now. What I wanted to do is I wanted to see where my intake and exhaust ports are in relationship to, you know, my retaining pins or whatever you want to call them for the rings. So this is how I figured it out, and it's not 100% accurate, but again, um, I'm doing these. These are all my own saws that I'm working on, and uh, I'm trying to learn how to do this. And these are just ways that I know how to figure stuff out. You know, is it 100% accurate? Again, no. But anyhow, so I put the the back half of the piston here, or the you know the back of the skirts on a flat line. Okay. So it gave me somewhat, so I somewhat know that it's square. Um, traced it. And then took a square from the lines and came down, made the lines. Okay. Took my calipers, measured those lines. Divided that in half. Put it there, marked it. More or less lined my piston up and put a line there. So I did that on both sides, that side and this side. Then I put it down, well, I measured this with the calipers. Again, and these bolt holes are off. Nothing's 100% perfect, but I'm, I'm not pushing stuff to the extreme. I'm only doing little bits at a time. So obviously with the calipers, I went from there to there. Okay, took the reading, divided it. Again, put it there, marked it, okay? And the only thing that I had was a, either a machinist rule, and depending on how, how flat that squish band is, I'm kind of relying on that to be flat. I'm waiting for another, uh, a nice metal working uh, layout square so I can check these again, but this is just giving me an idea. Or a business card, okay? So once I, once I put this in here, I put them down the way it's going to go in, okay, and I marked, I, I lined those up, if you can see, hopefully you can see, I don't have a good flashlight, but anyway, so I got my lines, I got my center line, and I looked at the edges of the skirts right there, so I marked the edges of the skirts on both sides, hopefully you guys can see, I can see my lines, but if you're supposed to leave two millimeters for sealing surface, it doesn't really leave a lot, does it? Which is, it, it, it uh, goes right along with some of the things I've read and some of the other people building the saws, and uh, I'm glad I checked it out and saw it, and good thing I looked at it. So, anyhow, it'll allow me to, to change a little bit of the shape. But do I even really want to do it? I don't know. I'm probably gonna. But uh, let's take this out. So you can see this, there's not a lot. See if I can get that right in the right spot. Uh, I'm losing you. Oh yeah. Hey, there ain't a lot of, not a lot of room on the edge of that exhaust right there. Mm. Oh yeah, there we go. On the exhaust or the intake. You know, might be able to shape it just a little bit, but that's about it. So, anyhow, I will, uh, I'll just do a little bit of work to it, only because I want to. Um, I don't want to change it too, too much. So, anyhow, um, I did get both the sides done. Both of the transfer ports all set from the other video. But anyways, that's what I'm up to. And uh, I'll catch you next time when I start doing a little work on the... I'll start doing a little bit of work on the intake, a little bit on the exhaust. Um, probably not going to open it up too much. I, I will, uh, what do you call it, do the reverse megaphone, just just a little bit, not too much. And then uh, I'll polish it up and, you know what, when it comes down to starting to do the degree stuff, um, I really need to learn that. I don't know if I'm going to change much, but this is a good early cylinder. It was new. It's a K and S cylinder, so probably those numbers and stuff are 
probably pretty decent, but it all goes to do with your, your deck height on your saw and everything. So, anyhow, that's about it. Sharing a little bit of information with you just to show you what I'm up to. Thanks for watching.